Hey guys, it's Marcus here. Welcome to my new series, Video Game Talk, where I'll be talking about um, new and upcoming video games. So today's topic is Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, Pokemon Sun and Moon was announced um, a day before the 20th anniversary of Pokemon in the Nintendo's Pokemon Direct. Um, in that Direct, um, they just gave us a quick um, five, minute, minute, five minute video um, which um, kind of gave a, a brief history of Pokemon and right in the video they announced the names of the two new Pokemon games um, Pokemon Sun and Moon which will be Generation 7 and um, they will both, both both these games will be on on the 3DS uh, and it'll be out um, hopefully by this Christmas by the end of the year. So yeah, I, today I just want to um, kind of touch on a few things, um, kind of talk about what people be speculating and my views on it. So now the first kind of I think biggest biggest you know topic um, is the role of the event Pokemon that have been announced um, last year so um, these the three event Pokemon are Diancy, Volcanion and Magena. Diancy um, has already been distributed um, through um, various stores across the globe um, uh, for Canyon and Magena are not out yet. Um, Magena is the newest Pokemon, which looks a little bit like Dancy, but it, it has like a kind of a machinery technology kind of look to it. And it's, the, it's a newest Pokemon uh, announced by Game Freak. And so uh, people have been kind of speculating that. Um, these Pokemon will will appear. Uh, uh, Volcanion and Magena um, will appear in uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, and they'll play uh, a you know a part in the story. Um, in my opinion, I think um, uh, they definitely no, no definitely. Um, there's a high chance of of them appearing in the game, but I think they will just appear in the movie. Um, uh, another, another thing that's been going around is is about um, the possibility of two different regions. Um, now, this uh, two different regions, um, uh, uh, you know, the, having two regions in in one game has been already been done before. Um, uh, you can look at. Pokemon Gold and Silver, where they combined the original uh, Kanto region from Pokemon Red and Blue uh, or Green if you're in Japan, um, and they combined and they just like combined it with um, uh, Johto in Pokemon Gold and Silver, and I believe that um, the Game Freak actually used um, quite. Uh, Heavy compression on the on the on the game's files to fit Kanto into Gold and Silver. Um, do I think that will be that will appear in in um, Pokemon Sun and Moon? Um, possibly, yeah. Um, um, I think it's possible for them to uh, definitely two regions. Um, but I don't think they'll bring in uh, a pass region into the game. So there might be, I don't know, um, a kind of a Pokemon Sun Quiz region, a Pokemon Moon region, where one is kind of like, well, Pokemon Sun will be like, kind of like sunny and like really cheerful, kind of modern look to it, where, but Pokemon. Moon, that the region will be more gloom, more kind of dark, and like the buildings will be 
more run down, more, more ruins. Uh, that, that, that'll be a nice thing to see. Um, so, um, talking about the um, Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, in the director didn't announce any new Pokemon, not even the starters, nothing. But um, in the director, there was a small little clip where they showed uh, a game developer at Game Freak kind of work on this this Pokemon model and, and it appears to be some kind of bird Pokemon uh, which I think um, is the early bird Pokemon in games so you know these early Pokemon, early, early bird Pokemon would be like things like uh, it'll be uh, you know, they'll, they'll play the same role as like PGs you know the Spearows, the Starlies, the um, yeah, those 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 kind of Pokemon. Um, and I'm interested to see um, how many Pokemon they'll bring into this new generation. Now, in a previous generation, they only they brought in only 69 um, Pokemon into you know into the game. So, I'm interested to see how many Pokemon they were able to bring into the new game. Um, I know that, you know, the 3 has has its limitations, you know. Um, so that's maybe why they, you know, they reduced the the number of new Pokemon in the Pokemon X and Y. Um, yeah, so the grand total is, I think it's 722, not, not including Volcanion and Magina. And that's, that's loads, loads of new Pokemon, um, loads of Pokemon there. Um, uh, possibly they could fit, I reckon, maybe not 50, I don't know. But I really want to see, like, at least over 100, like, in the old generations. But, you know, we have to see. Another thing I want to see is, you know, definitely new game mechanics, to, you know, to refresh up the game. Maybe, like, new HM moves. So, you know, it's been ages since the last HM move. I think Pokemon Diamond Pearl and 4th Gen, um, they brought in Rock Climb, which is the newest HM move. Um, I like them bring like new HM move, maybe something like I don't know, a super jump or something where they can jump up to high ledges. Um, yeah, something like that. Though. Something stupid like that. Um, new, obviously new moves, new Pokemon moves. Um, I want to see, you know, a whole range of new moves. Um, and I want to see like new types of battles. So in the last, in this current generation, um, they brought in like sky battles. So battles where flying Pokemon could only participate in. I want to see something similar to that, but you know, with another type. Maybe uh, I don't know, fire, or rock, something like that. That'd be nice. Um, uh, also. Um, I would see kind of more uh, post Pokemon League content in the new games. So, you know, in X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, we only had uh, the Battle Mage on, which, you know, it was just, you know, battling trainer after trainer, you know, just continuous like, survival mode, I suppose. I would see the return of Battle Frontier like they did in uh, Emerald, in uh, fifth gen black and white, that'd be nice. Uh, maybe that Poke Athlon thing that they introduced in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, that'd be nice to see. Uh, what else would I see? Maybe Return of Contest. Uh, I think they got it right in Omega Ruby, just right. Um, or, yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, Maybe, maybe new Pokemon evolution uh, methods. So yeah, like, I mean, last generation they had that thing with uh, Inky, that Squid Pokemon, where you have to flip your uh, 3ds upside down to evolve it. That's pretty cool. I want them to bring in like new new methods to evolve Pokemon. Um. So yeah, I think. That's all I wanted to talk about um, 
in terms of Pokemon Sun and Moon today. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.